Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Pabli. So the topic for today's video is how to create certificate of recognition for employees in bulk and send on WhatsApp. Now here the idea is suppose I am running a company and into my company every every month or every two or third second or third month I provide appreciation certificate or recognition certificates to my employees. So for this what I usually do is I have to collect the employees data then I have to manually create the certificate and then keep on sending them on WhatsApp. But it takes a lot of time and this process is very much repetitive and tiresome. So that is why to save to us to save our time and to perform this task really very easily in this video I am going to tell you that how you can perform all these manual tasks automatically. So now let us understand the process here. So here I am using Google Sheets. So Google Sheets is an online spreadsheet program where you can create databases in the form of spreadsheets really very easily. So here into my Google Sheet I have created a Google Sheet into which I have added the data of my employees such as their name, phone number, email address and other details. So I have created the data, uh, Google Sheet. Then I am using Google Slides. So Google Slides is a, present, a software from where you can create presentations really very easily. So I am using Google Slides to create the certificates. The idea is I have created a template into Google Slides. So with that template I want to create the certificates. Then here obviously I am using WhatsApp to send the messages. So you know WhatsApp is a famous chat application. So here I want to use it to send the messages. Now here the issue is all these software applications do not have any native integration or any direct contact. So how I am going to perform the automation? I need to build the data flow between them so that I can perform the automation. So that is why in this video I am going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which is going to integrate all these software applications. So here what will happen is with the data available into my Google Sheet the certificate will be created automatically into bulk. Isn't it wonderful? For example if I am having hundreds of employees into my company and I'm having data of that hundred employees the certificate are going to get created automatically into Google slide for that hundred employees with, with their details. Then the message will be sent on WhatsApp to all the employees automatically. Isn't it wonderful that just with the help of Pabli Connect we are going to integrate all these software applications and it will save our time. Let me tell you with an example if I am having data of certain person for example I am having data of 10 employees such as John, Alex, Mary and all and I have their WhatsApp number, email address and other details. So with those details the certificate are going to get created for all these employees for John, for Mary, for Alex or all, all of them. It is going to get created automatically with the same data. Then the message to Alex, John, Mary, all, all the employees will be sent on the WhatsApp automatically. So we will be sending bulk messages on WhatsApp. So isn't it wonderful? So you must be thinking how I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell you each and every step that how I will create this automation on my screen. So let me tell you one more thing here that to use Pabli Connect you do not need to have coding skills and programming knowledge. It is actually very easy to use. Any non-technical person can also use Pabli Connect really very easily. So here let me remind you one more thing that I am just taking the example of sending certificate of recognition. You can use this same workflow into different use cases as you want to create certificate of appreciation or if you want to provide or create bulk certificate and send bulk messages on WhatsApp, you can use the same workflow according to your choice, according to your need. You can change the use case and use the similar workflow. So now let us see on my screen along with the real time example. Okay guys, so here you can see this is my Google Sheet. So I have created this Google Sheet to enter the data of my employees. So here I have titled it as Logitech uh, Limited Star Performer. 
and here I have added all the details such as name, mobile number, star performer month in, and issue date. So basically the idea is every time I'm going to add the name of any employee here, the message will be sent automatically onto their WhatsApp along with the certificate. So let me also show you the certificate which I have created. So guys, this is the certificate which I have created. So this is the certificate. Let me uh, show you. So this is the template I have created with the help of Google Slides. So basically, this is the template. So with the help of this template, the certificate will be created automatically and it is going to get sent on the WhatsApp automatically. And uh, let me show you by doing it practically. So for now, what I will be doing is I'm going to make a data entry here and then we will directly check on WhatsApp if the message with certificate is sending or not. So let's enter the data. So for example, this is the person for which I have entered the data, Zoya and her phone number, star performer of the month and the date. Perfect. So I just entered the data. Let's check on WhatsApp if the message for Zoya is sent or not. Let's check here. Perfect. Here you can see there is this message for Zoya. So let us download the certificate for Zoya. So this is the certificate. Excellent. So here you can see the certificate of for Zoya is just automatically created and sent to her on her WhatsApp. This means that this is the gist of the process that every time the data is going to enter into this Google Sheet, the certificate from this template will be created automatically and the message will be sent on WhatsApp. Isn't it wonderful? So you must be thinking, how did I manage to perform this task that I'm just entering the data here and with the same data, the certificate is getting created and the message is also sending on WhatsApp that too automatically. Don't worry. Let me tell you that I followed five very simple steps here to create this amazing workflow. So let me tell you what are those steps so you can also follow the same and create this amazing automation. So guys, these are the steps which I followed to create the automation between Google Sheets and WhatsApp. So the step one is connect Google Sheets to Pabbly Connect with the help of Webhook URL. So first what we need to do is we need to log in into Pabbly Connect account. Then we need to connect our Google Sheets with Pabbly Connect with the help of Webhook URL. So basically this Webhook URL is an address provided by Pabbly Connect. We just have to copy the same and paste it into our Google Sheet in order to connect it with Pabbly Connect. Then in the second step, we have to collect the data from Google Sheets in Pabbly Connect. Now as our Google Sheets will be connected with Pabbly Connect, the data which we are going to enter in it, that same data will be captured here into Pabbly Connect automatically. Then in the third step, we have to send the same data to Google Slides for creating a certificate from template. So as I told you that template which I have created, what we have to do here is the data which is collected here into Pabbly Connect from Google Sheets, we have to transfer that same data into Google Slides to create the certificate from template. In the fourth step, we have to save the certificate in Google Drive. Okay, so here what we will be doing is once the certificate will be created, we are going to save it into Google Drive. Why? Because we want to create a PDF link with the same a shareable link so that we can transfer it to the employees. And the in the last step, we have to send the same data to 360 dialog for sending messages on WhatsApp. Now, once the certificate is created, we have to send the same data into 360 dialog for sending messages on WhatsApp. Now, I know here you must be thinking, what is this term 360 dialog? Why did I use that? And what is the use of this book, basically? So... Let me tell you that WhatsApp do not allow us to send the messages directly. So that is why to integrate WhatsApp with Pabbly Connect to send the messages on WhatsApp, we are using WhatsApp's official API 360 dialog. So with the help of this software, we will be able to send messages on WhatsApp really very easily. So basically, these are the steps which we need to follow to create this automation process. So I am going to tell you each and every step in detail on my screen. So keep watching this video till last. So here, let's start. Okay, guys. So first you need to open your browser window and here in the search uh, bar, you have to search for Pabbly Connect. P-A-B-B-L-Y. Pabbly. So after uh, typing pabbly.com in your browser, you can see this is the website of pabbly.com. Now here we have to click on products and here we have to click on connect. Add products, we have to click on connect. So after clicking on connect, here you can see this is the landing page of Pabbly Connect. 
Now here is the landing page of Pabli Connect. I am going to click on sign in. Why? Because I have already created my account. But if you are a new user and you have not created your account yet, you can also create it just by signing up for free from here in two minutes. So let me click on sign in. And once I clicked on sign in, this all apps window will appear. Now to continue making with the workflow, we have to scroll down and here on this option, which is Pabli Connect, we have to click on access now. So after clicking on Pabli Connect Access now, you can see this dashboard will appear. And here at the top right corner, we have to click on this button named as Create Workflow. So here after clicking on Create Workflow, this dialog box will appear. Now to now here what we have to do is we have to give a name to our workflow. So right now I am going to give it as Google Sheets to WhatsApp according to our topic Google Sheets to WhatsApp. You can always give it according to your choice as well. So here after providing the name, I'm going to click on create and here you can see the title of our workflow is created and this window will appear. Now here you can see there are two boxes. The first one is trigger, the second one is action. So you must be thinking what are they, what is trigger, what is action. So let me explain you that trigger automation works on the concept of triggers and action. So trigger basically means when this happens, action means do this. Or we can also say that trigger is happening of an event and the action is response to it. So according to our topic, the trigger will be when a new entry is made into a Google Sheet or we can also say when a new row is added into the Google Sheet, the action will be send a message on WhatsApp. So let us uh, understand this practically. In the Choose app, I am going to choose Google Sheets. Perfect. Now after selecting Google Sheets, the trigger event will be new spreadsheet row. Perfect. So here after selecting the trigger event, you can see this webhook URL will be provided by Pabli Connect along with the step guides. So let us follow the step guides here. So it is written create a new spreadsheet, then navigate to add-ons and click on get add-ons. Okay. So with, for this, we have to uh, create a new spreadsheet or you can also use the already created spreadsheet. So let me take you to my spreadsheet here. Perfect. So this is the new spreadsheet which I have created. So I have provided the name as Logic Tech Star Performer Employees and I have added all the details. So you can create your own spreadsheet and add the details according to your choice, according to your need. You can add the data according to your choice. So here is the Google Sheet. So I want to integrate the same Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So for this, what we have to do is we have to go to add-ons. Perfect. Now here onto our Google Sheet. There is this tab named as extensions. We have to click on extensions and we have to go to add-ons. Now at add-ons, we have to click on get add-ons. And it will take us to this page, Google Workspace Marketplace. In the search uh, apps, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks. Pabli Connect Webhooks. So this one is already installed into my system. You can also install the same. So right now I'm just closing it. Why? Because it is already installed. You can also do the same. Now let me tell you one more thing here that after installing Pabli Connect webhooks into your system, don't forget to refresh your Google Sheets. I repeat again, it is very important to refresh your Google Sheets after you install Pabli Connect webhooks into your system. Now after this, it is completely ready. Now we have to connect it with Pabli Connect. So again, we will go to extensions. Now we are, we are not going to click on add-ons. Add At extensions, we are directly going to click on Pabli Connect webhooks. Perfect. So we have to click on Pabli Connect Webhooks and into this menu, we have to click on Initial Setup. Initial Setup. So after clicking on Initial Setup, this uh, window will appear and here we have to provide the webhook URL as well as the trigger column. So let me first explain you the trigger column. It is also written in the help text here. So basically the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. Perfect. So here you need to enter the last data column of your Google Sheet. So here into my Google Sheet, the last data entry column is D. So I'm going to give D. You have to mention the trigger column according to your spreadsheet. So now we need to provide the webhook URL. So basically the same webhook URL which is provided by Pabli Connect, we have to copy this and we have to paste it here into our Google Sheet. And then what we have to do is uh, basically there's just a small mistake. First we need to enter some data here so that we can send that same into Pabli Connect. So let me add the data for example. 
ओके सो दिस इज द पर्सन फॉर विच आई हैव एंटर द डेटा विच इज टीना मैनुअल हर मोबाइल नंबर स्टार परफॉर्मर ऑफ द मंथ एंड द इशू डेट नाउ वी हैव टू सेंड दिस सेम डेटा इन टू पैब्ली कनेक्ट सो अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन एक्सटेंशन डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज इट्स जस्ट हम स्टार्टिंग अगेन वाई बिकॉज द डेटा वॉज नॉट एंटर्ड सो नाउ लेटर स्टार्ट द प्रोसेस ऑफ कनेक्टिंग इट विद पैब्ली कनेक्ट सो एज हैव एंटर्ड द डेटा नाउ वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन एक्सटेंशन पैब्ली कनेक्ट वेब बुक्स इनिशियल सेटअप and here we need to provide the webhook url as well as the trigger column so this is the same webhook url let me mention it again how i entered that so we copied it from here and we pasted it here just like this and again we need to provide the trigger column which is last data entry column of our spreadsheet so here into my google sheet it is d so i entered d now we let's click on send test so as i clicked on send test here you can see this send uh, data is sent successfully which is tina manual फोन नंबर एंड मोबाइल सॉरी ऑल द डिटेल्स परफेक्ट सो लेट्स चेक हियर इफ द सेम डेटा इज कैप्चर्ड और नॉट परफेक्ट हियर यू कैन सी द सेम डेटा इज कैप्चर्ड विच इज नेम मोबाइल नंबर स्टार परफॉर्मर मंथ इश्यू डेट एंड द कंप्लीट डिटेल्स परफेक्ट सो हियर वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सबमिट नाउ वॉच केयरफुली वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द मेन स्टेप हियर सो अगेन वी हैव टू क्लिक ऑन एक्सटेंशन अगेन वी हैव टू गो टू पैब्ली कनेक्ट वेब बुक्स and this time we need to click on send on event this is most important so basically the idea of using send on event is with the help of this every time we are going to add the data here into our google sheet that same data will be captured automatically into our pabli connect workflow basically after use after switching on send on event or we can say after clicking on send on event the data which we are going to enter are into our google sheet that data will be captured automatically into pabli connect perfect so now we have successfully integrated our google sheets with pabli connect what we have to do is we have to create certificate with the same detail so let's establish a new window and here in the choose app i am going to choose google slides google slides perfect and now here i'm going to choose action event as create a presentation from template then i'm going to click on connect so now i need to connect google slides account with pabli connect for this i'm going to click on add new connection connect with google slides and here i'm going to choose the account and i'm just going to click on continue why because i have already logged in into it so you can also connect your account in the similar way perfect so now it is connected here all the templates which are available into my google slides account will be visible here into pabli connect let me show you how here you can see it is connected into this uh, template presentation you can see all the templates available into my account visible uh, are visible here so the template which i want to use is this one which is certificate of recognition so i'm going to select the same so here you can see it is here certificate of recognition now we need to provide the title of new presentation so the title will be i want to keep the title as the name of the person which is tina manuel perfect okay now what we have to do is we have to provide the presentation's location basically we have to provide the location at which we want the certificate to be saved so let me tell you into my google drive i have created a folder already which is star performer of the month so i want the files to be saved here into this folder so i will be selecting the same so it is star performer of month perfect and here you can see we have entered all the data now we have to map the entries here so we have to map the details according to our template so basically you must be thinking what is mapping and how it is done let me explain you that the data which is captured here into pabli connect from our google sheet this same data will be available into this drop down accordion and we just have to click once according to the field ask and the data will be entered automatically so this is how mapping works so let us map the name for example let me show you that name was tina manuel this same data is available when we click here and we click here you can see the same data is available just have to click once perfect so the name is mapped let's man, uh, map the month so the month is this one october 2021 now let us map the date so the date is this one perfect we just click now we just clicked on save and send test request and let's see if the certificate is created for tina manuel or not perfect so the response is received we got the presentation id as well let me take you to my folder here excellent you can see there is this certificate created for tina manuel let me show you the certificate as well so here is the certificate let me present it to you 
perfect you can see this is the certificate for tina manual certificate of excellation so you have been rec recognized as the star performer for october month okay so this is how the process will work every time the certificate will be created automatically with the help of this data mapped now you can see it is saved into our google drive we need to create a pdf link why because into our google drive account only we as the user have the access to it but we want to create it as shareable folder so for this again we need to establish a new window and in the choose action we need to choose google drive perfect so after selecting google drive in the action event we will be choosing share a file with anyone so with the help of this we will be able to grant permission to the user now again i'm going to connect my google drive account and here i just made the connection to my google account so it will be connected automatically you have to follow the same process just like this if you want to connect any other account and if you have already established that account so you can choose the existing connection and you need to click on save perfect so now it is saved you can see we have to provide the file id so this is the same id which we got into google slide steps which is presentation id we have to map it so to map the data we have to switch on this mapping option we need to remove this cache and here from google slides we have to map this presentation id perfect so in this way the permission will be granted and the pdf link will be created so let's just click on save and send test request perfect here you can see the drive permission to the reader is provided and here you can see the pdf link is also created along with that here are document link and there are other text plane other various links we just have to use this pdf link now we got the certificate we got the link we have to send the same data to whatsapp basically we want to send the message on whatsapp so in the last step we are going to choose 360 dialog whatsapp by 360 dialog so as i told you whatsapp do not allows us to send the messages directly so that is why we are using its official api whatsapp by 360 dialog so with the help of this we will be able to send message on whatsapp so let me choose the action event which is send template message and let's click on connect now here we need to connect whatsapp by 360 dialog account so for this we have to click on add new connection and after clicking on add new connection you can see we have to provide these keys to make the connection which is api key and domain name so i know here you must be thinking what are they and from where we can get them let me explain you that everything is provided into the help text you just have to go through it so it is written enter the api key here you can create api key in your 360 dialog account so you have to log into your 360 dialog account move to whatsapp account page from the left sidebar and click on the generate api key button okay so for this we need to go to our 360 dialog dashboard so let me take you to my 360 dialog account perfect so this is my 360 dialog account you can see this is the dashboard so here i have already created my account so you can see this is the dashboard if you also want to create your account into 360 dialog and you too want to start sending messages on whatsapp let me tell you that a link is provided in the description of this same video you can go through that link watch the video and create your own 360 dialog account and you can also start sending messages on whatsapp so now my account is already created i just need to connect it with pably connect so for this i need to provide this api key and domain name so here we can get them here onto this option which is whatsapp accounts this is the option of generate api key so from here what we have to do is we have to click on generate api key basically you have to generate the api key only once why because it will create security issues so that is why once the api key is generated you have to use that same api key into your workflows so from here you can generate your own api key my api key is already generated so i will be using that and after this we need to provide the domain name so the domain name here you can see it is also provided into the description sorry the instruction box as well as you are going to get the uh, same domain name while generating the api key so you can use either of them so as i told you i have already created both of them so i'm just going to click on choose existing connection i have already established the connection and i'm just going to click on save you have to follow the same process to make the connection so here you can see my account is now connected with pably connect and here you can see again we have to map the data so for this this is the first step which is template so you must be thinking what is template and how they work for to explain you this let me take you to my 360 dialog account 
and you can see there is this option named as manage templates so let's click here basically templates are predefined messages which you need to create from your 360 dialog account so that you can start sending them on whatsapp so here you can see these are the already created and approved templates of my account so the template which i am going to use is this one which is certificate link so this is the complete template here so you can have to pro you have to provide the template according to your choice so if you too wish to create the templates you can create the templates from this button which is add template and then you need to provide the name of the template you have to provide these details and then you need to provide the body of the template body means the message which you are planning to send after providing all the details here you need to preview and submit your template so basically you need to submit your template to facebook for approval and approval basically takes the time of 30 minutes to two business days so once it is approved they will be shown like this and then only you can start sending messages on whatsapp my templates are already approved so that is why i'm going to use the same so let's select the template here certificate link okay so i just uh, selected the template now we need to provide the data so this uh, sorry so this template was already created into my account so that is why i'm using this just to show you as an example that how the process works you have to create the template according to your choice so now as i provided the template we need to provide the data according to this template only so let's first map the mobile number and into the instruction it is written enter the recipient mobile number with country code that is we need to provide the recipient mobile number with country code which means with with plus sign and with this 91 button uh, sorry 91 and with 10 digit valid number so here you can see we got the data from google sheet the phone number is there but as we cannot add the plus here so we have to add the plus sign manually here so before this uh, phone number i just provided the uh, plus sign so now we got the data into expected format now we need to provide the url here so the which url the certificate url so we got the certificate link here into google drive so we will be mapping it from here so at google drives there is this option named as P, uh, export links application pdf so this is the pdf link just by clicking once the data is mapped now we need to provide the file name so the file is certificate of recognition certificate of recognition okay so i just provided the data here let's move on to the next step we need to provide the body field so here it is name as tina manual we need to provide the name here so the name is tina manual then we need to provide the name of the document which we are sending so here basically we are sending it as a star performer of the month I'm just adding the data according to my template uh, you can add the data according to your template so the values which you are going to provide into your template that same values you need to provide into your workflow so i have already created this template earlier so i'm using this one only so here a star performer performer of the month is the document name performer of the month and at last we need to provide the institute name basically here i'm going to provide the name of my company which is logic tech limited perfect so i just provided all the data according to my template it is completely re ready let us click on save and send test request and then we are going to check on whatsapp if the certificate is getting transferred on whatsapp or not so here i just clicked on save and send test request and now here you can see the response which is received is perfect it is stable which means the message is sent on whatsapp let's go to my whatsapp page and check if the message is sent or not okay perfect here you can see this is the message for tina manual hello tina manual congratulations and this is the complete message let us download the certificate for tina manual and let me show you the certificate so this is the certificate which is transferred to tina manual on her whatsapp so this is a certificate of excellence to tina manual for october month and this is the complete details perfect this means we have successfully created our workflow now let us check it on real time if it is running smoothly or not so how we are going to check again into my google sheet i'm going to make a data entry and then we will directly check on whatsapp if the message is sending instantly or not so here let me add the details 
ओके गाइस सो आई जस्ट एंटर द डिटेल्स हियर फॉर सैम जॉन सो दिस इज द पर्सन फॉर विच आई एम क्रिएटिंग द सर्टिफिकेट सो लेट्स चेक इफ द मैसेज फॉर सैम जॉन इज सेंड ऑन व्हाट्सएप और नॉट एक्सेलेंट हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द मैसेज फॉर सैम जॉन लेट एस डाउनलोड द सर्टिफिकेट फॉर सैम जॉन परफेक्ट सो हियर द सर्टिफिकेट इज क्रिएटेड इमीजिएटली एंड द मैसेज इज ऑल्सो सेंड ऑन व्हाट्सएप सो दिस इज द सर्टिफिकेट फॉर सैम जॉन स्टार परफॉर्मर ऑफ द मंथ एंड द कंप्लीट डिटेल्स इज एंड इट वंडरफुल दैट आई एम जस्ट एडिंग द डिटेल्स हियर एंड द सर्टिफिकेट इज गेटिंग क्रिएटेड लेट मी शो यू इन टू माई गूगल ड्राइव ऑल्सो सो हियर यू कैन सी द सर्टिफिकेट्स आर गेटिंग सेव्ड आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग इन टू माई फोल्डर सो दिस इज द सर्टिफिकेट फॉर सैम जॉन विच इज क्रिएटेड दिस इज द सर्टिफिकेट फॉर टीना मैनुअल Isn't it wonderful? So this means our workflow is running really very smoothly. We are just entering the data here, and the certificate is getting created automatically, and the message is sending on WhatsApp. So let us do a short recap what we did so far to actually understand the process into a nutshell. So for this, I'm just minimizing all these windows. Okay. ओके सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी डिड सो इन द फर्स्ट चैप वी चूज गूगल शीट एंड वी इंटीग्रेटेड गूगल शीट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वेब बुक यूआरएल एंड वी कैप्चर्ड ऑल द डेटा इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी सिलेक्टेड गूगल स्लाइड्स एंड देन वी सिलेक्टेड द टेम्पलेट ऑफ आवर प्रेजेंटेशन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट टेम्पलेट वी मैप्ड ऑल द डेटा इन दिस वे आवर सर्टिफिकेट वाज क्रिएटेड नाउ आफ्टर द सर्टिफिकेट वाज क्रिएटेड वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड वी नीडेड टू ले create a pdf link so with the help of google drive in the next step we created a shareable file and in this way we got the pdf link then in the last step we used whatsapp by 360 dialog to send the message on whatsapp and according to our template we mapped all the data so this is how the workflow was created now let me tell you one more amazing thing here that the workflow which i just created this one the same uh, the link of this same workflow is provided into the description of this video so you can simply copy the link and start using this amazing workflow into your public connect account just for free not just these applications you can integrate plenty of applications with the help of public connect this was all for today's video if you have any feedback you can contact us at admin@pabli.com or you can also ask your queries at this link here and if you want to check the price for pabli connect you can check the price from here this link and automate your business if you like our video do not forget to press the thumbs up button and share it with your friends and for more such videos you can also subscribe to our channel thank you for watching